couple days here in Asheville, floating around your town, eating your food, checking out your bars, all the cool vibes that happen here in Nashville. And, and then we get to play here at the Ryman with all you wonderful people of Tennessee. And this is... It's just another special landmark, you know? This band is celebrating our 25th year as a band on tour. Yeah. And uh, I gotta tell you, when I think about that, Honestly, there's been so many amazing ups and downs and sideways twists to this career. It's literally, you know, being married to three other guys, which is kind of weird because I'm totally <laughs> heterosexual for one. And, uh, but you know, and then you get all the drama too, right? It's just all <laughs> But it's this, man. It's this that keeps us together. It's rooms like this. It's music like this that makes this band get up every day and continue to do what we do because music is just a very very special thing for not just us as musicians, but for people who are just music appreciators like yourselves that come here to enjoy an evening of beautiful things like music, right? So this is the theme for the evening, and that's why we put together a show like this, because when I think about music, I go, wow, you know, I remember thinking about this actually a while ago when I, I put out a book about like the first 30 years of my life growing up and what it was like before the days of Oxmack. But um, I, I got to this, this chapter where I was starting to think about music and like, wow, what a gift it really is, you know? So I'm sitting on the bus with a friend of mine, we're having a bottle of wine, and I'm going, okay, music is like amazing because first of all, I don't know many things on this planet that can act in a way like music does work and like you can hear a song and it can take you right back to that time and place when you first heard that song, right? You can like, um, you can remember everything. You can feel the feelings and like, you know, the whole atmosphere and, and the whole thing that went down with it, right? Um, and I think maybe scent is the only other thing that does that in this world where like you can smell something and go, oh, that nice way. My parents' house and my grandparents, whatever it is. Um, and music is like that special, so we're going like, oh, but why is it that it, you know, it's so emotional, like it can really make you super happy, it can make you sad, it can make you comfortable, it can make you uncomfortable, I mean, that's the beauty of music, it fucking transcends everything, right, it's a special gift. It's truly like an anomaly, I mean, it's really like a universal miracle, and it's a universal language, we can be in another country, not even know the language to the person next to you, and you can just have an incredible experience just listening to the sounds of these, you know, notes and chords and whatever. But that's when I started to go down the fucking rabbit hole and I'm like, okay, what is it about music that makes people feel what they feel, right? And I've asked people this and they go, well, you know, of course it's those lyrics, like they really connect to that situation in my life. And I go, okay, fair enough. But why is it you can go watch a violin player play all by herself and it can bring you to tears? There's no lyrics, right? So this is when, now we're fucking two bottles of wine into the night, and we're going, okay, this is, you know, what, what the fuck is music? Like, why does it move people? Why does it create these kind of emotions? And as I broke it down, I'm like, okay, so music is just a bunch of notes put together, right? They're, but notes are just frequencies. And if you keep going further down that rabbit hole, a frequency is nothing more than a vibration, okay? It's just literally like if you tighten something really tight and you pluck it, it's gonna make a higher pitch. If you loosen it a little bit, it's fat, it'll make a lower sound. But they're just string vibrating. Your vocal cords are just something that vibrates. A drum head vibrates. A piano vibrates, right? They're just vibrations, but why? When they come in contact with the human body, it creates emotion. And to me, that's the true gift of music. That's the miracle of music. That's something I don't know if anyone here is really powerful. Right? And it's a fucking heavy question, man. I mean, maybe you're God if you can answer that one. And I'm pretty sure he's not here tonight because I would have definitely put him on the guest list. But I got a few words to say to him in my life for the last couple years. But that being said, I'm going like, wow, this is, this is really heavy. There's only so many things that fuck with me in life that blow my mind that like I can't wrap my head around. One of them is space. Space fucks with me. And I'll tell you why. No, don't laugh. This is serious. Space fucks with me because you t they tell me, they tell me, right, that the Earth is round, which is cool. 
Um, but they say you can shoot off the planet in any direction. Like, if you can build something that can last forever, and you can shoot off the planet, pick up, like, left, straight up, down, this way, 45 degrees, it doesn't matter. And you could go straight forever? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Do you know how long forever is, by the way? Forever is a long fucking time. Like, this, you never get to the end. You don't blow up. You don't hit a fucking wall. Not like that. You can just live, go forever. And numbers. Numbers is another one. You, know, you can always add one. I'm like, what's the biggest number? I just want to know. Tell me right now. Like, now there's no, no biggest number. You can just add one to it. I'm like, that's fucking... It's insane to me. <laughs> so this is one of those things that I sit there and I go, wow, it's, you know, they're just a bunch of things vibrating. They make a frequency, a vibration. And yet... They can really like move you to a point where you remember those first songs that you heard, or you can just pluck these things out of sequence. And they make no right? Like it doesn't bum you out. If I move my fingers to a different position and change the vibrations. Kind of sad sound, right? A lot. Why is this the sad chord? Like, who made those rules? Why wasn't this one like the happy one? Right? And this one's like a bummer. They're just fucking vibrations, man. They make no sense sometimes. Unless you start organizing the frequencies. And then all of a sudden...